Hey guys, this is Jeremy from 78 Productions. I wanted to do a quick vlog for you guys. We are talking about dating this week on the blog. And in fact, we're going to be talking about dating at our youth group in a couple of weeks. So I've been doing a lot of filming and a lot of thinking about this topic. And I want to know what you guys think about this. Now, we're talking about dating in the perspective of teenagers, in the perspective of parents with teenagers who are dating. And so there's a lot of different factors that can kind of play into this. And there's a lot of different people that have viewpoints on how this should go. Um, my own experience, I was a youth in my youth group, and I had a youth worker that was amazing with the be able, being able to uh, talk about this. He was one of those youth workers that loved talking about sex. And he wasn't um, rude about it. He wasn't inappropriate by any means. Um, whenever someone says dating, kissing, sex, something like that, he's like, oh, 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 funny. And so it was always one of those moods where it was, it felt like it was okay to talk about. He had created an environment where um, we could discuss whatever we wanted to discuss about it. But there was this one time that he talked about it in youth group um, as part of the lesson. I, it's one of those lessons that's extremely memorable. So we talk about youth ministry. Um, that a lot of lessons we give will never be remembered. It's always about the interactions. It's always about the relationships. This is one of those lessons that I can vividly remember how he did it, how he set it up, um, and even a lot of the content that he presented. And so he was talking about relationships. He was talking about dating and also how far is too far. And so he kind of wanted to address this question about what, where should we stop? And he even had a chart of the idea that we're dating but nothing else, that we're dating, we're holding hands, we're kissing, um, we're making out, um, even when as far as talking about petting um, and heavy petting and uh, sex. So he really did not hold anything back. He made sure that the environment that there was, that they, that everything was laid out on the floor. And then he drew a line and said, anything above this, um, is considered something that's saved for marriage. But he didn't stop there. He actually went further to say that um, when we are in a dating relationship that um, you can start off by holding hands and there's this rush of adrenaline, of excitement. Oh my gosh, I get to hold this girl's hand or this guy's hand. And then that makes you want to lead to kissing and that makes you want to lead to more and more. And it's almost like a drug that once you finally get to where you're at, that you need to make the next step to feel like you have the same rush and so he's he did draw a line and say that this is where the line is for me and for his three daughters that he had had but he also stated that whenever you're at the level that's at the point that's right below the level it makes it so hard to want to get to not go above and beyond that that it's almost like you need to stop three steps before it before you even get to that point it was a very interesting topic. I thought it was amazing. It stuck with me for all this time. Um, and then also, I have this thought that um, we need to understand where our boundaries are as youth workers. That we need to understand that we're here to present the gospel to these kids. We're not necessarily here to raise these kids. That is the parent's job. And in fact, if we start overstepping our bounds, a lot of parents might either become dependent on us and stop parenting or um, we might insult or offend a lot of the different parents that have maybe different philosophy or rules on this. Um, I know with my child coming up I don't want a youth worker that will come in and say to my uh, middle school student that it's okay to date because I'm going to have the rule that until they're 16, guy or girl, that they are not allowed to date. Um, and it's just going to be one of those hard lines and I don't want the youth worker to undermine me in that. So as a youth worker that's kind of always present in my mind, I don't want to undermine what the parents have to say. So if you're in a very small uh, group of kids, you might actually have an advantage of being able to talk to all the parents. So maybe 30 people in your group and so you're able to talk to 60 parents. Um, what are your philosophies on dating? And if there's a general consensus on what that looks like, then go for it. Teach it if it's biblical. Um, but a lot of times we just need to stay away from saying this is the hard line, this is where you need to be able to um, not go beyond. At the same time, we have rules, we have biblical laws, we have um, understandings that 
Um, sex is for marriage. That's what the Bible says. That um, there is grace in all of that. That when we are in a relationship like that, that it is for the intent of marriage. So there's a lot of things we can still talk about very well. But the idea that um, we are telling students what is and is not appropriate is really a discussion for parents. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say because that's one side of the story. Um, in fact, my youth work, the youth worker that um, is now my mentor would say maybe things a little bit differently. I want to know what you guys think about the subject. What are your policies on this? What are your thoughts on this? Obviously, we can get into much further detail of one-on-one -on -one conversations with the same gender and not the opposite. Um, what is appropriate to show as far as videos, um, but really just kind of keep it on this topic of what, do you, what is your policy for um, talking about dating? Where do you draw the line? Where do you incorporate the parents? Where do you go from there? So leave some comments below on what you guys think about this, and we'll see you guys next week.